Hi guys, Demon Ferret here, and today we're going to be talking about something that will be a bit controversial, especially to artists. And I'm an artist myself, I'm mostly a fursuit maker, but I am going into graphic art, so I can understand the annoyance and frustration that this can bring, but it is something that has to be gone over. And that is the difference between art theft and copyright infringement. Usually when someone says art theft when the furry fandom, they mean copyright infringement. Very rarely do they mean actual art theft. So why do we say art theft all the time? It's quite simple. Saying copyright infringement all the time is hard, especially when you're typing. Imagine typing copyright infringement every two sentences instead of art theft or just theft in general. But at the end of the day, copyright infringement isn't technically theft. It is infringement on your copyright, hence the name. So we're gonna go over basically what art theft, th art theft is and what copyright infringement is. So let's start with art theft. The thing that everyone says, but they're not really meaning. Art theft would be if I stole a painting out of a museum. Or in a furry sense, if I went into a dealer's den and stole a print off of an artist's table. That's art theft. That is the physical theft of art. Copyright infringement is the taking of someone's art and reusing it to serve your purposes against that artist's wishes, such as tracing, recoloring, uh, simply using it without permission. It's two vastly different things. Now, does that make copyright infringement any less serious? Absolutely not. We as artists have been given tools to combat copyright infringement simply because it is a serious issue and we should be allowed to defend ourselves. Art theft is when you can chase the person down the street to fix your problem. You can't do that with copyright infringement. Well, I mean, normally you can't. Unless you're a stalker and you find where they live. Please don't do that. If you have your work infringed upon, that's not good. Take the actions that you need to take to deal with it. File that DMCA order, which is more or less a cease and desist. File it with the person. File it with the website. File, with, file it with the uh, domain host. And then, if no one listens to you, then take it to court. Because that's how that goes. Remember that if someone says that tracing a design is an art theft, they're technically right. It's not. They didn't physically take that piece of art, run away with it, recolor it, and then put it back on the wall. And especially with digital media, art theft is difficult to do. It's very difficult for a thief to steal art, because a lot of it's digital nowadays. And for us, that's a good thing and also a bad thing. Instead of people just stealing paintings, now we have people copying paintings on a much higher level. Or copying drawings, or in this case, furry art. So just be aware of the difference between art theft and copyright infringement, and you'll have a better understanding of what's going on when someone does something that is illegal. Both of them are just as illegal as the next. You can still get in trouble for either of them. Doesn't matter. But they don't mean the same thing. And that's the big, that, that's the big note here. They don't mean the same thing. Don't, don't get upset if someone corrects you over this, because I see people get upset over it. I see people say, no, it is art theft, when no, it's not. And let people have their technicalities. If you like just to say art theft because it's convenient over saying copyright infringement, no one's going to stop you. This is the furry fandom. Everyone does it. Literally. Everyone. If you get that one person who starts to break your back, just say, yeah, I know that it's copyright infringement, I understand that, but that's a really long statement to say. Let me say art theft, because it's easier, and let's move on with our lives. So that was my thing on copyright and art theft. It was just a quick explanation of the differences between the two words, and one, and one one's just more appropriate to use than the other one. So keep that in mind, use your words right, don't get offended, 
and I'll see you guys later.